Our buddy Sasha at On Point Dino is looking for more response time on his SR20 powered drift car. So we're gonna try out this little guy to see how much response time he gets without losing much or any power. If you like electric cars, you probably know who this guy is. Sasha, of course, from On Point Dino. This is your S14 drift car that you mm -hmm. share with your buddy Andrew Stittle. Yep. And it has a built SR20 in it. Yep, that's right. Standard SR20 from S14. And you put nitrous on it to try to, what, simulate V8 power from a two liter that's motor. That's exactly right. If you watch the old video, we, we did that. We gained a bunch of response. Um, it wasn't quite enough. Okay. And we were running out, we were using a full bottle in a day at the track. Oh, wow. So we don't want to be using a full bottle. Okay. So we need, we need a little bit more response. Okay. So this is a GTX 3071 Gen yep, 2 Turbo, Gen 2. correct? Yep. And you're, you, in your experience, these make a lot of top end power. Yeah, the compressors are great. They flow, um, you know, up top. But we're kind of not, we're like a grassroots drift fun car. Right. So we, we don't need so much power that we're going to, have a set of tires last us half a lap. Right. So really, we if we just want, we want a little bit more response, okay. a little bit less top end power. Okay. So that's why we're making this trade out. We're going to the new G series, or the G25. This is the G25 550. 550 just indicating that that's the max horsepower that this is rated for. They also make a 660 version, and uh, this is a clean sheet design turbo. It is. All the magic obviously happens with the uh, compressor wheel and turbine wheel that's all been redesigned to make it more efficient. Apparently this is more efficient by like 15 to 20 percent compared to the GTX wheels. So we'll see how much power you can make from this, but obviously going to a smaller package we're going to gain some response time. I guess the question is how much response time do we get gain and what's the trade-off there in terms of peak power, area under the curve, and all that good stuff? Yeah, I think the technology with these turbos is so great that even looking at this, you're saying, wow, this is a tiny turbo. How can it make mm -hmm. 500 horsepower? Yeah. Um, because we're running race fuel, I think we'll easily be able to make 450 wheel horsepower right. safely with this turbo. Yeah. And if we gain five or 600 RPM of response and, you know, we cut down our response time when you're in the middle of a corner in half, say, yeah. when you're when you're when your tires are starting to grab again mm -hmm. and you just need a, that quick shot. I think yeah. that plus the nitrous will, will be at the point where it feels like a V8. So that's okay. the goal. That is the goal. There's lots more technical information on this turbo that you can find on Garrett's website. So if you want to dig into that, you can find that all on their website. It's got new aerodynamics. It's got a V-band connection here that we can show you where the two, two halves make sweet love. And it's all clockable. You've got four ports on here for cooling, which gives you a lot of options for routing. So. It's a very slick package and uh, a speed sensor. Yeah, that's right. It's got their new, uh, it's also a new thing with their G, -ser G series speed sensors. Port, I guess. It's um, not a sensor, it's a port. Right, for there's a, a port sensor. for their, their sensor, which you have to buy separately, but it is a full plug and play sensor. You don't have to like adjust the length of it or whatever. Yeah, and drill all the housings. You just have to drill the hole. Yes. And then deburr it. So, so you this is like yeah. a, a DP foolproof speed sensor setup. <laughs> Slap it in there and go. So um, lots of thought was put into this. So step one, obviously, is to set a baseline with this setup. Yeah, we'll do this turbo, um, and we'll also do it with nitrous as well. Okay, and then we'll go away. You'll install this. Yeah, because this has a V-band flange in the turbine inlet. Right. So we need to cut the header flange off and redo the header a bit. Okay, so, so we'll come back once he's done all that hard work, and we'll see how this puppy compares. So here we have our results of a nitrous run versus a non-nitrous run. And you were explaining to me earlier that basically the nitrous is only on in the very bottom part of the graph here, right? It shuts off at what, 16 PSI, you Yeah, saying? once the turbo spools, you can actually see these little ripples in the bump. That's the first stage shutting off, and that's the second stage shutting off. So after this point here, 
It's all it's turbo. All turbo, all bro. Turbo. <laughs> so this difference peak to peak between the nitrous and non-nitrous run is just, we were hearing a little bit of ignition breakup because uh, Andrew Stittle, the uh, maintenance guy on this, may not have tightened a few uh, coils down properly. Slacking still. Who knows what's going on there. But typically, peak versus peak, the number should be the same regardless yeah, of yeah, nitrous. Yeah, sure, this is just ignition breakup. Like you can see here, everything's identical. You're right. So the nitrous is just to help um, spool the Fill it in early, yeah. which is what you're hoping you'll get even more of with the smaller G25. Yeah, so we can see with this turbo, it's quite responsive. It's, you know, it's in at 4,500, but um, when you're drifting with this kind of gearbox, especially, we, we need to be, we need to have response even at 3,500 RPM. So you're trying sometimes. to bump that back 1,000 RPM if you can. Yeah, it, with the nitrous now we're at 4,000. So if the smaller turbo, the, with the G25 550, if we can get down to 3,250 or so. Yeah. I mean, that turbo alone, I think, should be almost 800 RPM or so in spool impressive and then you add the nitrous so yeah it should be so we're gonna move this way with spool but how is the line gonna change up in, in this area right so right now we're at 400 horsepower You're right and we're only running 17 pounds boost to get there we are back with on point dyno and Sasha has swapped off the GTX 3071R and swapped in the G25 550 so it's time to do some dyno pulls and see how these two compare have it we've got the G25 up against the GTX 3071R there and it looks like the G25 is definitely hitting harder earlier isn't it mm -hmm. yeah lots of spool you can see it really made a massive difference down low it's picked up maybe what 700 rpm earlier spool up there yeah it looks like we were at 4600 rpm uh, with the 3071 and now around 3900 so so that's the results we were hoping for by going to this this size turbo, right? Was to get that earlier exactly, spool up. Exactly. Yeah, with this drift car, we're trying to just get the thing to, like we discussed in the nitrous video. You know, we really want to get to feel like a V8, mm -hmm. where you don't need to be doing clutch kicking and kind of abusing the, the drivetrain to get it to go. Right. Spin the tires with a throttle as opposed to <laughs> introducing it with other more abusive methods. Yeah. And in the top end, it looks like we haven't really given up a lot of power, have we? It's it's pretty much holding its own up to about. What, 7,000 RPM almost? Yeah, it looks like we might just start getting into a little bit of uh, restriction there. Uh, so pretty comparable, especially for, for what we're doing with like, kind of the target of 400 horsepower at the wheels. Yeah, at 17 PSI, the, the G25 seems to be really happy. Mm -hmm. You're, you were saying, though, that you think the GTX 30 would really shine either at more boost or on a, a, a bigger engine where you're trying to make a bunch more power? Yeah, for sure. I mean, the, the 3071 Gen 2 just seemed to, to spool kind of at the same as our original turbo. Mm -hmm. But obviously the compressor is a lot more efficient. So that, that would cater itself well to when you're operating the compressor in that region. Right. And we're just looking for a really broad uh, turbo. And obviously the G25 550 being smaller, it's going to have less inertia, it's going to spool faster, there's going to be better transient response. So that's all stuff that the Dynograph doesn't really show. Right. But I'm sure when we're drifting around 4,500 RPM, 5,000 RPM, when you get back on the throttle, yeah. that response is going to be significantly better, I would, I would imagine. So this is a good trade-out in your mind for this type of, of build? Yeah, absolutely. I think drift cars should always have the smallest possible turbo. Right. And you don't need more than 400 wheel on a car this size right. anyway. Like so we went from a 3076 to the GTX 3071 Gen 2, and now down to the G25 550. Um, and, and I think we're now going to be at a point where we can run this thing even without nitrous and have not be uh, clutch kicking all day long. Yeah, well speaking of nitrous, maybe we should uh, do some testing with the nitrous on and see how that plays out. Yeah, I mean right now we've got the torque at around 4,000 RPM. Yeah. So let's see if we can't get that down, you know, maybe another 5, 600 RPM and then this thing will be really like a V8 on the cam. Alright, <laughs> let's make some more noise. All right, here we've got the G25 550 before and after a 60 shot of NOS. Mm -hmm. And uh, this bump here, I assume, is the nitrous hitting? Uh, not really, actually. That's the, the wastegate opening pretty aggressively. 
the the nitrous shuts off well before that. So, oh, is that right? Yeah, so the nitrous is shutting off around eight psi. Okay. And then the turbo is doing the rest. So, I mean, if you look at the curve, right around two hundred forty pound feet of torque, you can actually kind of see it. There's a little bit of a curve. That's where the nitrous is. Is, kind of is that off. okay? So you're you're kind of filling that early area in the torque curve with the nitrous. It's what right. about four or five hundred RPM worth? Yeah, it didn't do as much as with the bigger turbo. Yeah. Um, for sure, because you know at thirty two hundred RPM the the G25 550 is able on its own to make 8 PSI yeah. and already be at 200 uh, pound-feet of torque. So, you know, there's not a lot left. Yeah. We're only getting up to 300, so... But we did get 400 pound-feet more torque, so... Or, that, sorry, 400 RPM more spool, so... So that'll help, but maybe not as important a trick with a smaller turbo than it would be with the bigger turbo. For sure, yeah, and the nitrous will last a lot longer now because it'll be on for a very short period of time each time. Right. Yeah. So peak numbers won't change, obviously, with the nitrous setup since you're turning it off once once yep. the turbo spools exactly. up. Exactly. Yeah. In this case, the it did make a little bit more up top just because the boost was rippling a little bit, and we think that the the plugs might have been fouled before, so there was a bit of ignition break up. Yeah. Some of this up. stumbling here, you're thinking is you ignition. You can still see. Yeah. It's still not quite right. Still making very solid peak numbers, though. You're up at like the 390-ish mark. 395 or so. Yeah. At uh, around 18 psi on that, 18 and a half. That's got to be a pretty fun party car to rip around in. Yeah. This thing rolls tires, man. Um, uh, I don't think we've seen this thing in action yet, have we, Pete? We need to get out to the track and see how this G25 uh, come try works it, for you. Yeah, come try it, man. Well, I think maybe that's a wrap on this episode of G25 versus GTX 3071R. And I think it's pretty safe to say that in this application, the, D the G25 is the, the way to go, isn't it? I, yeah, I got to think for a drift car under 450 wheel horsepower, that's the turbo you want. It is the hot setup for you... Uh, two liter dudes out there, you SR guys, go have a look at it. Well, thank you very much uh, for watching and thank you, Sasha at On Point Dino for uh, all your tuning expertise. We appreciate it as always. If you wanna learn more about turbos, give us a thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button because we will be sure to be playing with more turbos in the future. Mm -hmm.